You may be wondering, what does Kim Milford, who starred in the Rocky Horror Picture Show and Jesus Christ Superstar, has in common with Gianni Russo, who had his first part in The Godfather, and Rowdy McDowell, who played Cornelius in The Planet of the Apes? Well, they all starred in Laser Blast. But how did these actors wind up in such a garbage pile like this? Not even the Lord can answer this one. It's pretty baffling, because Laser Blast is just a piece of crap. Really, from beginning to end, you get non-stop crap thrown at you. So, it's about this character named Billy, who we barely hear anything about, apart from the fact that his mom seems to love going to Acapulco, and who is never seen again, by the way. Okay. So anyways, this kid finds a sort of laser shooting contraption from another planet, which, when associated with a medallion, turns him into a skinny version of the Hulk. When he first discovers the contraption, he starts randomly shooting shit around in the desert. What kind of person finds this fun? Burning the wildlife around you with an out of this world laser, how mentally disturbed is this kid? Well, I don't know, because apart from the fact that his name is Billy, that he has a stupid girlfriend, and that he's an avid arsonist, you barely get to know anything more about him. But honestly, considering that Milford was in some big titles, he doesn't seem to give a good performance at all. Sometimes, he'll just be staring into the camera, and it's obvious that he's waiting to spit out some lines. It's really wooden. This movie also has the honor of presenting you some of the most non-relevant and long driving scenes in the history of cinema. Some of these characters just drive and drive and drive on. Well, they had to fill the shallow script with something, because this is, after all, over an hour and 20 minutes long. So, bad anti dialogue, horrifyingly terrible pacing. Are there any redeeming qualities to this? Well, barely. I will have to know that the special effects, considering that this is obviously a very low budget movie, are one of the redeeming qualities. They are quirky, and feel like they would have belonged more in a 1950s movie, but when you've got a flick like this one, you really can't complain. So yes, I give the effects a good pass. The music is honestly decent as well, whether it's that 1970s jazz fusion track, or the opening and end cre credits theme. Those were good, but the rest of the film is too crap to handle. There are so many things wrong with this film, whether the bigger, terrible production values in a whole, or even the little things that just make this pick even more ridiculous. Like the fact that this film seems to take place in another dimension, where logic is not always present. The aliens, who are the size of a human being during the whole film, seem to have gotten much bigger. Also, the doorknob is way too high in the door on the right. The curtains are too low. What in the name of ass is this? Who designed all this? Also, another real goof I noted is that the medallion of Billy on his chest only seems to turn his face into an alien creature. The rest of his skin, and even his ears, are still pale. I don't get it. The special effects crew didn't think this one through at all. Also, it's odd how Billy gets bullied by a couple of nerdy kids driving cool cars, and even gets mugged by them. Well, first of all, if it had to be that way, wouldn't it be the other way around? The cool kids beating up the nerdy kids? And second of all, he only blows up their car. Oh no, 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 he actually kills them. But for a couple of bumbling cops that only gave him a speeding tickets, he doesn't also seem to mind blowing the shit out of them. What an ass. Also, when a building is blown up from far away, everything goes berserk, and we get countless shots of the same explosion, but when a person is hit up close with the laser, nothing really happens, they just plainly die after glowing. It also kills me that one of the alternative posters, the tagline says, the original sci-fi classic. <laughs> yeah, I bet. This isn't even a movie at all. Anyways. Laser Blast is a very poorly made, ridiculous science fiction piece of cinema, and I hate it. On the scale of boredom, it ranks pretty high. It's a mess from the beginning to the end, and it should be buried deep into the ground in order to never be found by humanity, who deserves better than this shit.
If you've got a film you'd like me to review, don't hesitate to leave a comment and don't forget to subscribe.